For us, and uh, we hit the team today, we are really uh, fired up for this opportunity in front of us. Um, last time out, uh, we got to play at home. It was a Thursday night, and the crowd was certainly uh, into it. So uh, we're calling on you again, uh, all four phases, offensively, defensively, teams, and uh, for the crowd and the fans. So uh, we're making an official declaration that New Year starts at 425. So we would absolutely love to see that kind of energy. That'll be a big part of this game as well. Uh, and the atmosphere that's created. So uh, we're going to do that again. Uh, from an injury standpoint, uh, Levine Tolo will be out today, and uh, a number of others will participate, uh, or two others will participate in the walkthrough, and that will be Julio Jones and Wes Schweitzer. Past that, the team's in good health, and uh, no one else is limited uh, on the roster. But Levine will be out today, and uh, Julio and Wes will participate in a small fashion. So uh, glad to open it up for you guys regarding the game this week and uh, the opportunity in front of us. Oh yeah, Coach, what are some of the issues facing uh, the team as you try to move on to Carolina? Uh, you know, looking back at the November 5th matchup, are there some, uh, you know, certainly I guess it starts with uh, trying to contain the quarterback. Yeah, for sure. He had a long run, you know, against us. And uh, anytime the explosive plays, you know, you can limit those. And defensively, we've done a good job at that this year. We look at the explosive plays given up defensively and the ones we're able to create offensively. That's a big part in this game, Led. And uh, they've had an you know, excellent track record from having big explosive runs that can, you know, 30 yard or 40 yard to go. So uh, a couple of things that are going to be at the front of that. Uh, one is tackling, and it's not just on the quarterback, although he's a big factor in that. It's also, you know, the way they utilize the other players, the running backs, the tight ends. Uh, so I think that's going to be a big factor. When you play a team uh, that has some option to them, uh, you better have your option rules right. And uh, that's certainly something that defensively we began yesterday and they're working through again today and in preparation for the game. So uh, fortunately, it's a team that uh, you know you are familiar with and some of the style that they do. So uh, I think the tackling, knowing your option rules, uh, those are big factors you know, for our defense. Uh, our offense, you know, one of the main things, let's make sure ball security has got to be right lit. And uh, that's in the run game, the pass game. Uh, we feel like we missed some opportunities the last time in the pass game. And uh, we know, like, the matchups, how to go attack, and, uh, you know, all three phases, you know, we've got to be on the details. The uh, ball security, do you uh, uh, stress that as a group, or do you, you know, yeah, we do pull both Devontae off to uh, some? And then uh, talking about just at, at free and specific. Mm -hmm. yes. So what we talk about is the term high and tight um, as a ball carry here. And it's not just for the running backs, it's for everybody. So. What high and tight means is that we're locking the ball down and we're going to keep the tip of the ball up high and then tight to your body. And that elbow has to be locked. So that's why we know the, you know, the issues with free are correctable and we're certainly going to work that at practice. So the cause of some of them have happened near the contact where his elbow may come out and doesn't stay locked. And uh, that's our job you know, to help train him on that. So we know those are definitely uh, correctable ones and uh, no one works harder at that than he. So high and tight, uh, that's you know, in terms of how we want to take care of the ball. And when you don't do that, that's a lot when the force fumbles happen. Uh, you know, you've seen Keanu come in and take a shot, you know, where a ball may be loose. So Freeman's have happened on the contact when his elbow gets away from his body. And it's something like for sure uh, he's working. He plays in such a physical style. Uh, he's really mindful for it. And uh, staying high and tight all the way through uh, is the way. Coach, what have you noticed? <laughs>